So hello everyone, today is Wednesday and I'm going to be taking Kashmir to her vet appointment today. So she did go last week, Thursday, um, but today is just going to be a checkup to see how she's getting on. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I took her to the vet last week, Thursday, because she had a lump on the side of her face and they gave me some Batril, which is a antibiotic. So I've been giving that to her for seven days for a syringe. Lump's gone down because it did uh, burst a little bit. So I managed to drain some of the fluid. Over there still a bit of a lump um but she's gained weight and she's doing fine she's acting normally hopefully the vet goes all right so here she is she came out about 10 minutes ago um so i'm gonna go ahead and set up her carrier but the mm -hmm. abscess it did um the day after i took her to the vet mm -hmm. it had a little bit of a leak so i drained okay. some of it perfect just that's what we out. want yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, looking closed in there now right cheek yes and is she eating okay yep she's okay. eating and drinking all right she's put oh. weight back on as well amazing now i think what i need you to do is try mm -hmm. and hold her for me because it's very difficult okay. to look at these wee beasties with um was it a hole on the side that it was oozing from? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So back near her ear. Can't even see a hole today, so I think it's up. I think it's in literally at the base of the ear, is that yeah. right? Uh -huh. Right. Oh what we're dealing with. Let me get something to clean that with. You have her facing that way again for me. So we're not looking at a fight wound. Much of a biter? No, she doesn't bite. Wow. It's just squeaking so much. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really squeezing on that to see if anything else will come out. There's not really anything coming out. You're doing brilliantly holding her. There's nothing in your pouch, but that's food. It's doing great. So I wonder how you got that. It's a very funny play. You like to look down your ear, but it's just too small. It seems like there is something in there, but that's what Tibet was saying last time, that her ear is just too small. Yeah, exactly. Because, <laughs> um... I'll show you my smallest ear tip thing is that. <laughs> <laughs> Kashmir's doing really, really well this time, so she's just going to get a torch to see if she can look in her ear. Did you have to write up a project after you were here? Um, yeah, we had to do a whole yeah. um, assignment on the work experience, so writing down what we did each day. Yeah, we had a very well behaved hamster. Believe you me, they are not all well behaved. <laughs> she's looking at my hair. Wow. I can have a better look. This dog goes some way down and I can't see anything actually inside the ear. Okay. Oh no, what do we do? It's just, I guess, why have we suddenly got an abscess? That's the weird thing. Mm -hmm. If she's not bitten because she lives on her own. What sort of bedding is she on? Um, in her carrier, just has been wood shaven. Just that? Yeah. So that's not likely to strike her. Hmm. Well, I don't know how it happened. It's a bit of a strange one. The very, very back teeth have can have quite long roots, mm -hmm. which can go up into that area. It's okay. an odd thing to see in this breed, but mm -hmm. rabbits, it's quite common, and they have much longer teeth. But I think the main thing is she's doing well. Mm -hmm. um, there's no gunk coming out of that, so we're on the right track, okay. um, but it's not perfect yet. So, have you got any antibiotics left? Yes. Okay. Got a bit left. And so, I want you to carry on with them. Mm -hmm. She's having this such a tiny amount, and that's fine. Um, and uh, we, we're going to finish those up. So you had point one of a mil twice. Point one. And you've got two mils 
perfect. So you should have enough for a good nice mm -hmm. few days. I know it's the tiniest amount because well, yeah. she's the tiniest <laughs> patient. <laughs> and then she's taking that, all right, is she? Yeah, into she's her mouth. Yeah. Okay. She really enjoyed it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, this is better. So <laughs> coming in. Oh, much. do they normally buy it? Oh God, yes. Uh, do you know what we will do actually? Um, last time when the vet weighed her, mm. she was 36, right. um, but on my scale, she was 38. Um, especially when you're weighing something so small. Oh, look at that, 41. <laughs> that tells us we know she's eating well. Yeah. yeah that's quite a leap, isn't it? The antibiotics she's on are doing the trick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, she's not perfect yet, so we definitely need to carry on. Mm -hmm. And I think looking at the amount you've got, it might look like a tiny amount, but right, we've got works. enough for a okay. bit longer. <laughs> Um, and because we don't know what caused this, we don't mm -hmm. know if it's gone. Okay. Um, it's hey, it's quite an unusual place mm -hmm. to develop an abscess, especially for this type of little one who lives on her own. So I want to carry on those antibiotics until that's completely dry. Okay. Okay. So let's. If you bring her with me, mm -hmm. and I'm going to. Um, what we like is plenty of animal pictures. You can imagine that. Um, yeah. We have quite a good source, but we don't often get nice little creatures <laughs> like this in. So if you could do me a favour, some photos to that one mm -hmm. okay. um, for the attention of Helen. Right. Um, I would love to put her on our Facebook and Instagram. We need to see her again, unless you're worried, but I do want you to carry on those antibiotics. And when we finish them, we'll have to see if it recurs. Something like a tooth through abscess, a bit like with humans. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can cure that with antibiotics. Okay. Unfortunately, sometimes you can't. The tooth needs to come out, which is a... <laughs> <laughs> which in a wee beastie like this is not particularly yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so carry on those antibiotics okay. until you've finished. All right, okay, thank you. nice to see you again. Thank you. That went really, really well. The vet I saw is actually a lady I worked with for about two days when I was doing my work experience. Um, she's the lady that did the surgery on Teddy's arm. I can't remember her name, I think it's Helen, but she's absolutely lovely and she's really experienced. She's been doing it for so many years um, and she's the best vet there. And she works between two different clinics. Cashmere did really well today. She wasn't squeaking today like she was last time. The vet just cleaned the area, had a look at the wound. She said it looks absolutely fine. She's not too sure what actually caused the abscess and she tried to have a look in her ear um, but she says she couldn't really see anything in there um, but Kashmir had done really well she was literally just licking my hand she weighed her and she was 41 grams so she's been putting on weight which is good vet absolutely loved Kashmir she had her running up her arm and everything that I done an amazing job on her which means a lot coming from a really experienced vet she says she's super tame super friendly um, and she said it's mainly because most people who have hamsters are kids so they don't tame them and they tend to be a little bit vicious I guess can be a bit of a problem when the vet is trying to have a look at your hamster to see what's wrong with it when it's sick bringing a tamed hamster to the vets makes their job that little bit easier because it is hard for them to work on a hamster because they're so small and most of the tools that they have they're not really made for animals that 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 tiny so I think a dwarf hamster is one of the small or is the smallest animal that they actually see she basically just said to carry on giving her antibiotics Antibiotics. Um, I should have enough to last me uh, for the next couple of days and she said I only need to go back if the um, area decides to swell up again then obviously they'll need to like do something out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop Kashmir back into her cage and I also need to pack an order that I got I think it was yesterday because I'm gonna be heading off to the post office so I don't know if you can see it over there but I've got a bunch of parcels. I normally go to the post office every week now um, that way they don't pile up massively. Is in her cage at the moment. I think she's gone to sleep. Oh, 
give him receipts. Uh... Home. I went to the post office and then I went to Iceland whenever I go post office I always go to Iceland because I thought I might as well because they're close to each other and then I can get some food to have for the week or whatever so I'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already um so yeah bye for now guys